I mean, it's so comfortable. It's just like wearing pajamas on a hot summer day when you're not wearing anything else. What's going on guys? Anthony from Chronometer Check here. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at some Barton Bands watch straps. Now, this was a watch strap company and they were kind enough to send me out a bunch of these straps out to review. Uh, they sent me six. I did buy a couple of them with my own money because I wanted to get a little bit more of a bigger scope uh, for comparison's sake and to have more to compare them to. So, but yeah, they uh, sent me some good goodies and there's a bunch of straps as you see here. So I'll put in timestamps in the description below of each of the straps. You could just skip to the time of whichever one you want to see. And with that said, this is going to be a long video as it is. So let's get right into it. Okay. So first up we have these silicon rubber straps and these are kind of their signature offering or at least the one that I tend to see uh, most popular amongst you know other watch YouTubers and such. And basically these are kind of just pretty simple and pretty standard. Um, rubber straps, except they do have a couple of different things going for them. So they're actually silicon, uh, silicone. So they're not actually natural rubber or vulcanized rubber or anything like that. This is a, a artificial rubber, which is, you know, I would say usually that that's more of a downside, but these straps are super affordable. These in particular are like 20 bucks. So I think that's a fair price point for what they are. Um, you can go up a little bit and get some you know, vulcanized rubber straps, but I think considering the wide array of color options and stuff like that, it's a decent offering. So about these straps in general, let's uh, take a look. So one of the coolest things about this strap is that it's just so light and comfortable. So other rubber straps tend to be more thick and substantial and chunky. Um, other than that, when you take into account the price, it's only 20 bucks, so that's a reasonable price. There's a wide array of colors. And yeah, so the strap itself, it has this little I don't know if you could see this, but it has like this curvature included in the strap that just makes it hug your wrist so nicely. Like it makes it so comfortable on the wrist and it actually tapers a little bit also. So it's just super comfortable. It's a very, very light rubber strap. So whereas a lot of dive straps are kind of like thick and chunky and not heavy, but just like bulky, you know, they add a lot of bulk. Whereas you can see this one's super thin and that can be seen as a pro and a con, but for like a regular casual everyday rubber strap. I think this is great in terms of just comfort and you want something just super light and comfortable. Now it has this texture. They do have one without a texture, just more simple silicone rubber strap. Fortunately, I don't have any of those on hand, but so this is what we have to work with. But yeah, one of my favorite things about this strap, it has these really, really thick rubber keepers, which are, you know, the same silicone as this. But what they actually do is this one over here. So the second one, I don't know if you could see, there's like a little piece that sticks out and see this little kind of notch at the end of the strap when you put it through the buckle and then you push the keepers over, what happens is the second keeper actually locks into place. So there's like a little piece of rubber hanging out that actually locks into place of that the tail end right there. So it always wears secure and snug on your wrist. So let's check it out on my Casio Duro. They have a bunch of different color options and I like that their colors are kind of like bi-colored. Um, it makes it a little bit more fun and playful, especially for like, you know, summery dive washes and such. So they have like one color on top and then another color on the underside. So it kind of adds a nice little accent uh, when wearing the watch. Let's actually throw it on the wrist. Okay, so really, really substantial hardware. That's one of my favorite things about most of these straps really is uh, they, their hardware is just really solid. It's uh, finished relatively well. It's not like amazing, but it's pretty good for the price point. I'm actually really, really impressed with the hardware. So yeah, locks into place, just super comfortable, just hugs your wrist absolutely perfectly. Um, It is a bit of a lint magnet. You can't really see on the black one, but on the white strap, you could see it a little bit better. It's like a little bit kind of dirty and it just collects dust and dirt a little bit because these are silicon. They're not real rubber and that's kind of what you're going to get. That's one of the big downfalls, but yeah. Oh, and one more thing. One of the best things about all these straps, I feel like I've said that a bunch already, but they all have quick release spring bars. So that means you could just adjust it and take it off in like two seconds. So yeah. So these quick release spring bars are on most of the straps and you could just easily just use your thumb and struggle behind the camera right after you say it was easy and you just pull it out so easy. It actually makes it really easy. I'm behind the camera, so it's a little bit trickier 
And yeah, you just swap them out very, very quickly. And it's cool because you could get a bunch of these different quick release straps and you just have a little, a little strap fest for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And it's just kind of fun to mix and match. And one more thing about these straps is they actually, in terms of the sizing, it doesn't just come with one size, right? Because what if this one doesn't fit your wrist? But it actually comes with two different sizes. So it comes with just the regular, you know, just the strap, the entire strap on this side here. And it also comes with another length, a longer length. So if you do happen to have a longer wrist, you can, you know, use that one instead. So whichever one suit better suits your wrist, you can use that. That's only for the elite silicone. Uh, it might be for the regular silicone also, but for the, the rubber straps, not the other straps that we're going to be talking about. But anyway, let's get into the next one. Okay, so next up we have two different NATO strap offerings. Now, these NATO straps are a little bit unique compared to just your typical everyday run of the mill NATO strap, and we'll get into why in a second. But they do have two different versions. So actually on the right here, on my stock common deer ski, is this basic, it's $12.50 at least right now, and it's called the ballistic NATO. And it's just kind of your run of the mill, just you know, horizontal weave uh, NATO. It's super, I don't wanna say it's, flimsy or whatever, but it's just like light and, and it feels very, very thin and it's just, eh. but this one, on the other hand, the Jetson NATO. So this is a really, really nice kind of premium fabric seatbelt weave. It has kind of like this nice, luscious, luxurious little sheen to it. So it makes it look, you know, just nice and classy. And I would say almost dresses up the Steinhardt Ocean 39 a little bit, even though it is a rugged and tough NATO strap. So everything about this strap is just so much better. You know, the hardware is beefier. Let's give a comparison. The finish is way better, even though this one's polished and this one's brushed, so not an exact comparison, but the finish is just way better. Um, the buckle is just, you could see right there, that this right there, yeah, that's, that's, this is it right there. But they both have this little special keeper system. So actually what this does is, let's put this on your, on my wrist. So when you wear a NATO strap, they're meant to be extra long so that you can put them around a, a dive suit or whatever, or anything like that. And basically it'll usually always have these, this little extra material sticking out at the side. And what you could do is tuck it back so that, you know, you put some of the material away and it creates this sort of like bulky silhouette over here because you have all this extra material. But what Barton actually did, which is pretty ingenious, is they used kind of the same material as the, the uh, NATO strap itself and used it as a keeper. Instead of on typical NATOs, they'll have hardware here, like regular hardware, just a thin little keeper, just like this to hold it into place. And it's just all exposed and it looks kind of messy. But with Barton, you just tuck it back in on itself and it's kind of, it's almost invisible. It like disappears. So that's kind of what's super awesome about these straps. It's a nice, really clean appearance. Now, if you do prefer hardware, if you're the type of guy or gal who likes lots of metal, then, you know, this isn't the one for you because it has this nice little system. But uh, if you want something a little bit cleaner, this could be a really good option for you. Now, this one is at price at 20 bucks, which I think is really, really fair for what you get. It kind of feels like, you know, the quality is definitely there. Uh, the stitching is there, the construction. This one, I'll be honest, the quality is not my favorite. Um, for the price, it's like $12.50. And it kind of feels like those super, super cheap NATOs that you could get online on like Amazon for like a, a six pack for this type of price. But, um, you know, to each their own. If you just want to really experiment with some different colors, that could be a good option for you. Now, for some reason, this model has a lot more color options than this model, but I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just harder to uh, manufacture this. But anyway, let's get into the next strap. Okay, so next up we have this leather strap, just your simple, leather strap offering on my Orient Neo 70s. And I absolutely adore this strap. I think it's like 25 bucks. It's, it's not perfect, don't get me wrong. Um, but first of all, it's just so soft. Like the, the finish is, it feels very manufactured and kind of, you know, machine done, if that makes sense. Like it's very, very smoothed down, if that makes sense. So some may like that, some may hate that. It is real leather, but it does, you know, it almost has a feel of like, artificial leather just because it's so well finished. I don't know if I'm really doing a good job of explaining that, but it doesn't have that rough, you know, kind of natural texture that you might expect, especially from the appearance. It could kind of look like that, um, especially when it starts to get some wear, but in a good way. Now, this one that I opted for is the espresso color with linen stitching. And I think this just complements my Orient Neo 70s perfectly. It's kind of like a classy, sort of, sort of classy slash rugged and tough watch in a sense. 
Um, and I think this, this strap is just perfect for it. My one gripe with this strap is that it's it doesn't taper at all. So it just goes to the end. It, so this is actually a 22 millimeter strap and then it just stays 22 millimeters all the way to the buckle. I would have liked even, you know, even two millimeters of taper would have sufficed for me. And I think that would have made this strap so much better. But in terms of quality, it's good. The it has it's, it it's lined with top grain leather, which is really really good. Buttery smooth. The interior is just literally buttery smooth. It feels so good against your wrist. And honestly, the interior feels even better than the outside to me. Um, they do have options without the contrast stitching. So if you just want one color throughout, you can absolutely get that. But I just thought this pairs so well with the milk white dial of my Orion Neo 70s. I love this combination. I'm gonna be rocking it a lot, especially as the weather cools down a little bit. Let's throw it on my wrist. Oh yeah. So literally no break in period on this strap. This strap right out of the box, it came buttery smooth and just supple, flexible, comfortable, which is amazing for a leather strap, for a real leather strap at that. And it's only going to get better, I feel like, with wear. And it already started to crease a little bit, which was kind of my fault because I did get a little bit uh, too too crazy <laughs> trying to pull it off. But yeah, it's just so comfortable right off the bat. I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. I love this strap. Next up, we have a little bit of a different type of leather strap offering. This is actually an alligator, alligator grain, alligator, yeah, that sounds really good. Um, but an alligator grain strap, and it's kind of padded. It has almost like a sporty, elegant look. Uh, they come in a bunch of different colors, sort of some more vibrant and fun options, as well as some more muted options, like this really dark navy blue. I don't know, I just wanted to try it, something a little bit different. I tried pairing it with my Invicta, a pro diver two-tone honestly not my favorite combination but i don't really think i have any watch that suits this too well um but yeah it's it's an okay strap it's not my favorite it is padded it's kind of like a sporty like a sporty elegance you know what i'm saying you could put this on like like a uh, i almost want to put this on like a daytona like a chronograph type of watch and i think it would look really really good um yeah, it is more of a matte finish. This is the one thing that kind of threw me off. It's not like a dressy alligator strap, but it's also not all the way sporty either. It's kind of, you know, because it is a matte finish, usually alligator straps, when they're dressy, they tend to be um, a little bit more shiny and have a shimmer to them. This one really doesn't, so you could dress it down. And I think that's fine. Um, this one took a lot longer to break in, and by a lot longer, I mean it took like three days. So compared to the other strap, you know, it it actually has some break in period. But once you break it in, it's just as comfortable. So and it also has the same interior top green leather, so 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 smooth, and also the same delicious, amazing hardware, and of course the quick bar, quick spring bar release. So let's throw this on the wrist and see how it looks. Okay, so here we are, the Invicta Pro Diver on the Alligator Grain Barton Bands watch strap. Not my favorite combination, but pretty cool strap, pretty cool watch. I just think uh, I could probably find something better for it eventually. But yeah, so last but certainly not least is this canvas quick release strap from Bar and Watch Straps. Now, this strap is super duper awesome. This is my first canvas strap ever. So to be honest, I don't really have a frame of reference. Uh, so I don't know what to compare it to, if you know what I'm saying. But I can tell you, it's a super, super light and comfortable strap, even though it feels very kind of sturdy and thick. So it is made from a canvas material, just like, you know, uh, just Converse shoes, if you've ever owned them, who hasn't worn a pair of Chuck Taylors in their life. And it kind of has that feel. You know, it's a super casual strap. It dresses down my Steinhardt Ocean 39 a bit. It's waterproof, so it can go in the water. It wouldn't be my first choice for actually diving or anything like that. But if you were just, you know, going about your day and you happen to come across a really nice pool and you're like, hmm, I'm going to go for a swim. And then you go for a swim and you get arrested because it wasn't your pool. But anyway, um, that's neither here nor there. Yeah, it's just a super casual and great everyday option. It's just so comfortable, so light on the wrist. You honestly barely even know it's there. And of course, it still has the same substantial hardware. It has the quick release and everything. So this is a good strap, I think, to kind of mix it up with the other options. They do have a bunch of different colors as well. Um, I just wanted something kind of muted. And I feel like this is going to be one of the straps that I'll wear when I just like want to wear something low key. I don't really want to be too flashy. And uh, yeah, so here it is on my Steinhardt Ocean. 39. It's just super comfortable, super light. It just fits perfectly. Um, I would say this is honestly probably the most comfortable just because it's like, 
It's like wearing, I don't know, like wearing sweatpants or something like that. It almost feels like cheating. So one last and final thing Barton also sent me, I really don't know what this is called. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I am so uncultured. For the first day of owning this, I, I kid you not, I used it as a coaster for my iced coffee, which I now realize it's not. I don't know how I came across this realization, but what it's actually for is like when you're changing out your watch strap or something like that, you know, you put the watch face down on it so it doesn't get any damage. And thank you so much for throwing this in. I don't know if it's it's on sale on the site, I couldn't find it, but thank you, Barton. I really, really appreciate it. This is honestly one of my favorite things because this entire time I've been using my uh, Steel Series mouse pad to change out straps and stuff and probably not the best thing, but yeah, you just, you know, put it down, blah, 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 blah. But of course it does have spring bars or quick release spring bars anyway. So you don't really need that with these straps, but it's good to have. So that about wraps it up for the Barton watch straps review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support recently. I've actually been gaining a couple of subscribers. My channel's pretty new, so that's cool. Uh, I will have a kind of more detailed description of all these watch straps on the blog in the description below, chronometercheck.com. And of course you could check out Barton watch straps also in the description. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed. Stay tuned for next time. I mean, it's so comfortable. It's just like wearing pajamas on a hot summer day when you're not wearing anything else.